Hello, I'm Baram Jam and welcome to my talk on physical activity and COVID-19. It's pure insanity. I fully understand that I'm, that I'm just a physio and that there are far more knowledgeable people out there than me. The public health, the minister of health and physicians and the epidemiologists directing the response to COVID-19 are certainly all doing their best. But can we at least acknowledge some of the scientific studies published in peer-reviewed journals, such as this latest paper titled, Physical inactivity is associated with a higher risk for severe COVID-19 outcomes. The Canadian Physical Activity Guidelines call for all adults to engage in at least 150 minutes per week of physical activity. This study involved almost 50,000 adults with COVID-19 diagnosis and analyzed their physical activity levels prior to their diagnosis. The results of the study show that Patients with COVID-19 who were consistently inactive had a greater risk of hospitalization, admission to the ICU, and death due to COVID-19 than patients who were consistently meeting physical activity guidelines or who were doing some physical activity. Here is the simple conclusion from this study. Consistently meeting physical activity guidelines was strongly associated with a reduced risk for severe COVID-19 outcomes among infected adults. Even activity levels that didn't meet the physical activity guidelines were significantly associated with reduced odds of hospitalization and death. The authors of this study recommend the public health to prioritize efforts to promote physical activity in routine medical care during this pandemic. But what is being done instead? They close gyms and pools to adults. They close playgrounds for children. They close schools so no more recess or gym class to be at least somewhat physically active. Sadly, only promoting a stay-at-home order, which I understand, but they should equally provide a stay-active order. Being consistently inactive was a stronger risk factor for severe COVID-19 outcomes than any of the underlying medical conditions and risk factors identified by Center for Disease Control, except for age and a history of organ transplant. In fact, physical inactivity was the strongest risk factor across all outcomes, compared with the commonly cited modifiable risk factors including smoking, obesity, diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, and cancer. We recommend that public health authorities inform all populations that short of vaccination and following public health safety guidelines such as social distancing and mask use, engaging in regular physical activity may be the single most important action individuals can take to prevent severe COVID-19 and its complications, including death. Despite repeated lockdowns, the attempts to stop the spread of COVID-19 appear to have been unsuccessful, if we can put it mildly, Without sounding pessimistic, some of us and our families will regrettably experience the virus at some point. Based on the best available scientific evidence, it seems wise for the government, public health and healthcare providers to promote not just lockdown orders, but if they are serious about reducing hospitalization and death associated with this pandemic, they would also promote stay active orders. Even without government and public health orders, take a screen break, stand up, and jog on the spot for one minute. Do a few push-ups, go up and down the stairs in your home, lift some weights, then go for a 30-minute walk or a bike ride. When this pandemic is finally behind us, you would have hopefully picked up the good habits. Stay active every day. It's an order. Ideally, at least 30 minutes a day. Thank you. For practical health and exercise suggestions, I recommend my book, Health Tips to Learn from Children, Chimps, and Your Physical Therapist. Obviously, I'm biased because I wrote it. The book is available on Amazon. Thank you for being here with me.